Hi there, Gemini. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast. This is for week commencing the 13th of February. This week begins with the Sun continuing its awesome angle to Jupiter. If you tuned in last week, you'll know that this began halfway through that time. The Sun in the part of your horoscope to do with exploration, adventure, new knowledge, spontaneity, stimulation, a fabulous location for you, is forging this link with Jupiter through to the middle of this week too. Jupiter for you is in the most gorgeous location that he has been in for 12 years. True, he's twisting backwards now. That doesn't mean to say that you're going to be unfortunate in the next 15 weeks or so, but it does mean that you need to make the most of your talents and continue to work hard at them. But when the Sun and Jupiter trine in this way, as long as we really embrace the opportunity, it can be a time of genuine good fortune. So if you've got something you want to achieve, go for it now. Be positive. Also, the Sun is forging a great link to Saturn. Over the last two years or so, Saturn has been tracking its way through your sector of relationships. This may have been a time when a relationship became much more serious to you. It's possible that you've learnt a lot about your needs in terms of your interactions with others. Some relationships may have been harder going, but you're probably a lot wiser for this. And this angle with the sun in the first half of this week can inform you of the progress that you've made. There can be a real sense of greater knowledge and self-confidence about how you're interacting with people. It's also possible that you could meet someone who acts as some kind of advisor. This could be in a more spiritual context or a more practical one, such as an accountant, a legal advisor, a counsellor. Anyone who can help you to understand yourself more clearly is going to be very valuable to you. But also in the first half of this week, your ruler, Mercury, which itself is in this very uh, inquisitive part of your scope, along with the Sun, is forging a fab angle to Venus. Venus for you is in your sector of friendship, along with the strident energies of Mars. Well, this is just a fantastic link. It can make you very jolly, great fun to be with, don't be surprised if you do make some travel plans or go somewhere with someone you get on very well with. Or it could be that you're in the process of getting to know people whose knowledge or ideas or belief systems mesh very well with yours. But there's almost a sense of pleasure about it all. So some very sweet links in the first half of this week for you to look forward to. Now in the second half of this week, Venus goes on to forge a very neat link with Neptune. Neptune's in the part of your horoscope that's to do with your worldly interaction. And to be frank, the Sun's going to move into this area on Saturday. Now this is going to help you to take some of the ideas that you're generating in the earlier part of the week, or that have come up over the last three weeks, and forge them into something more tangible, which can be very good for you in terms of your career, or gaining greater recognition for your talents. It's an exciting month that begins, really, from Saturday, the end of this week. But I have to be truthful, there is a real tough influence as this week draws to a close. And it is involving Mars, which overwhelmingly is in a great location for you. One which is terrific for you, networking, linking with other people, thinking about your long-term plans, but it gets into a right angle with the planet of politics, Pluto. Now Mars, of course, is about instant gratification. It's about our ego, if you like. Pluto is about power and transformation. But in the sign of Capricorn, it's deeply orthodox. Whereas Mars in Aries, where it's at its, in, in its home zone, is very instinctive. Now there may be part of you that wants to just go for something, but there could be some politics and control. Someone's uh, behaviour may not really fit or sit very well with you as this week draws to a close, which could prove to be very frustrating. This aspect is going to affect us all. It just will affect you, I feel, in a more political way. 
especially potentially around friendships, actually. So if you are involved in a circle of friends which are not quite as free and easy, constructive and uplifting, and there is some politics swirling around, I think that could get you down a little bit, actually. So stick to the people that you really feel most comfortable with as this week draws to a close. But that transit, the sun, the luminary that's at the heart of our entire existence, moves to the top of your horoscope. And it's going to be urging you over the next four weeks to really show what you're made of. Exciting. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.